there is a the theory that there are people who should never meet. In fact, there's a wonderful book by uh, Ruth Rundell, it's a whodunit, uh, about two young people in working class London that, um, that, 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 move, that don't know each other, that move this way towards each other. And it's a thriller, you know. And by halfway through the book, you're thinking, no, 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 no. And they meet, they meet and catastrophe happens. And these two people must never meet because of who and how and what they are. And they do meet and there's a, it's a train wreck. Um, and it makes you think, of course, how many people have married or met or loved uh, or befriended the wrong people. Uh, the wrong people for them, you know. Um, not that these two are right for very many other people, I must say. But, uh, but, the, but the wonderful thing, uh, certainly today, was that, uh, or the, it was what I'm always hoping is that the singer or the actor, and the, an opera singer to me is a singing actor, or he's not an opera singer. Period. They can't sing, they can't sing. I can't have them. If they can't act, I can't have them. It's 50-50. It's not when people say, well, he's a wonderful singer, but he can't act, or vice versa. Well, then they're not opera singers, so why should I bother? When you do have great singing actors like these two people, plus, uh, you don't realize, but world-class voices. Very seldom do you find Carmen's today are usually sung now, because it's easier, by low sopranos that don't have the bottom heft that Leanne has, so Carmen becomes slightly not dangerous because of the lack of that of those low tones, you know, that the chest voice that can come out here. She can terrify you, and Carmen should be at times terrifying. You want from people like this, you want them to bring their own stuff. Um, I don't do puppet theater. Some, some, I've had to, yes, I've had to spoon feed performances, thought by thought, word for word and I thought I'd just slit my wrists with a spoon. <laughs> That's lonely, because it's unbearable. Uh. In, in this case, you all just have to just get out of their way and, and basically say, no, if you do that, let me to, to literally control traffic right. so that they look good and they're always open because they are on top of everything else. They're such serious artists. So you today was basically because we just met yesterday, really, um, but to get out of them, the, Carmen doesn't exist. Carmen is ink on paper, and I've learned that as an actress. But I was worrying about playing Maggie the cat and cat in the hut and roof until my director said, Lillian, there is no Maggie. Maggie is ink on paper. There is you. So right. play the role. Right. So I, there is no Carmen. Carmen is Leanne, and it has to be Leanne. And it has to, be com it has to come from her, and it, ha it has to come from her instincts. 90% of the choices of a good actor they should come from them because they, they get to perform it and it's very uncomfortable to perform something that did not or, originate in you because then you're following, you know, right. you're being a, a marionette. So that's basically what we did today, the toughest scene in the opera. And it's tough playing these people because it, it, Bizet, being a great composer, puts it in their voice. So when you get to that last scene, <laughs> after three hours, whatever the opera, the vocal cords are doing in one of the most violent scenes ever written for opera. It's, it's astonishing. It's, I would be terrified and vocally terrified because being a great composer, it's in the music. He writes the music so that you cannot sing it in any other way. It has to go that way.